The federal lawmakers are worried that many children have been rendered vulnerable because of insurgency and the depreciating security situation in the country. It also makes the education of the Nigerian child compulsory and enforceable rights with penalties for parents and guardians who fail or neglect this obligation. And I think for us to address this adequately, the Child Act must be addressed. And in addressing that, we'll be able to lay a proper foundation for our children. They, however, want the federal government not to relent in their effort to key into the SDGs that provide a framework development-based outcomes. Education must be a right. Education must be the foundation, as has always been espoused, for any national development. We must continue to push as legislators that the basic education program in this country is implemented properly. The lawmakers also agree that there should be budgetary allocations for programs that has to do with children, nutrition and education in the relevant ministries. Senate President Bukala Saraki in his ruling on the motion stated that the 8th Senate must protect rights of children. Here in particular on the 2016 International Day of the African Child, we can't emphasize enough on the importance of us ensuring that we play our role in protecting the rights and welfare of our children. Two major issues come out here. Most importantly is the issue of education of the Nigerian child. It must be compulsory, it must be enforceable, and there must be penalties for parents and guardians who fail to neglect on this obligation. This must be something that must be a must, and this is Senate we must play a role. The Senate accordingly resolved to congratulate the African child, and Nigeria in particular, on the celebration of the 2016 African Child Day, noting that June 16 is observed as the International African Child Day.